If you want to play a prank on your friends, you can ignore the date complication here and use this watch to tell time in four different ways. Hi everyone, welcome to Watch Chat. Today we'll be chatting about the Bell & Ross BR03 Limited Edition Gyro Compass. Before we begin, I would like to thank Bell & Ross for allowing me to check out their timepieces. Like all Bell & Ross BR03 watches, the signature design of their timepieces is in the case. A circle in a square with four screws. The matte black ceramic case is made out of two parts. The first part is a flat piece with a slight bevel all around the frame that is screwed on to the body with four perfectly aligned black screw caps. The second part of the case with the adjoined lugs are all a one-piece ceramic with curve on the edge of the square and bevel on the bottom of the case. To change the strap, this uses a pin holder instead of an allen key unlike some of the other BR03 watches. If you guys are still with me, please hit that like, subscribe and bell icon to support the channel. It will really help. Thank you. The watch comes with a black rubber strap with a PVD coated 3-pin stainless steel buckle with the word BR engraved on it. The thing about Bell & Ross is that apart from making sure that its identity is cast on its case, they also make sure that their strap is recognisable. The broad case and strap makes even my girly wrist looks manly. I know, I've got girly hands. The closed case back here provides the essential information about the watch like how you find them on a closed label. If you've noticed, the screw on the case backs are not aligned, and that's because the front screw the the front screw the front crew caps the front the front screw in the beginning yeah in 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 the beginning the front screw caps you see here will be held down in a fixed position while Bell and Ross will tighten the case by turning the screws at the back. Depending on the design of the watch, this is one of the methods used by Bell and & Ross and Audemars Piguet to ensure that the front screw caps are aligned. Cartier can learn a thing or two on their Santos. I'm just saying. What lies within the case is the BR Caliber 302 Automatic Movement, which is a modified Salita SW300. The pull-out crown at the 3 o'clock's position is standard, albeit it has 100m of water resistance. The dial is what makes this watch stand out. Like an airplane's course indicator, the matte black dial has the north, east, south and west painted in loom green with two white lines running across the dial. The brand Bell & Ross is also painted on in white. I like how the lines doesn't cut across the brand name. There are no markers or applied indices here, but a white mini track and a green funnel looking thingy painted on the elevated flank. The non-conventional hour hand is replaced with a bright yellow silhouette of an airplane. The minute hand is replaced with a white tip pointer arrow, and the second hand is a thin long shaft that runs across the dial allowing you to use either end of the shaft to tell the seconds. Thankfully, one side of it is painted with a white tip to avoid confusion. Speaking about confusion, Confucius say, If you want to play a prank on your friends, you can ignore the date complication here and use this watch to tell time in four different ways. The correct way is of course to use the nose of the plane to indicate the hour. But why stop there? You can also use the tail of the plane or any one of its wings to indicate the hour. As seen here, what time do you think I have set it to tell? Now let's talk about the three things I like about this watch and the three things that I don't. 1. I like how fun and quirky this timepiece is. I'm not just talking about how you can tell the time in four different ways, but imagine walking into this cinema with this watch fully loomed. 2. The recently revised BR03 case design is much appreciated. 
This reduces the case and lock size, making it more wearable for smaller wrists like mine. 3. Baron Ross has made this instrument watch that pays homage to the most iconic instrument in a cockpit to only 999 pieces. Yes, I'm still very sore about that 9,999 pieces of Street Fighter series watches. <laughs> now, for the dislikes. 1. The small date at the 430 position often gets blocked by the hour hand due to the sheer size of it. 2. The date change isn't the most accurate. When changing the date using the minute hand, the date starts tilting at 11.35pm and snaps at 11.56pm. 3. The AR coating on the flat sapphire crystal could be better. Anyway, don't take my word for it, just go and check it out yourself and let me know what you think of it in the comments below. Do I like this watch? I definitely do. I definitely do. Anyway, if you like this kind of videos, please like, share, subscribe and hit that bell icon to support me and I'll really appreciate it and promise to make more videos like this. Until the next one, thank you for watching.